Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel and Skyrim. In this video, I'm continuing the theme of obtaining hidden powers and effects that help us maximize our builds. And in this video, we're returning to Skyrim to get the ancient knowledge, which gives 25% bonus when wearing dwarven armor and smithing increases 15% faster. It is also meant to remove the cap on how far you can upgrade your weapons, not armor, that will always cap out at 80% damage reduction. But anyway, we'll test that in another video. We'll find this in the ruins of Avanchenzel, which is southwest of Riften, at the border between Skyrim and Cyrodiil. But first, we have to travel to Riften to meet an Argonian called From Deepest Fathoms to start the quest called Unfathomable Depths. Sometimes you can have problems starting this quest, and I'll show you how to overcome it if you do. Okay, there's a lot to do, so let's crack on. Okay, so we make our way over to Riften and we run down to the docks and we're looking to meet an Argonian called From Deepest Fathoms so we can start the quest. Now there is or can be quite a, a bit of an issue here. Um, as quite often happens in Skyrim, NPCs start dialogue with you and quite often you're too busy to actually engage or you don't want to that particular time. Uh, and in this case, if you basically refuse a quest or ignore her, she can then disappear, which is exactly what happened to me. It took me a bit of a, a while to research this and find out what happened. So anyway, I waited around for about three days before I could find her, searched every building um, to no luck. So what you do is head over to the Hall of Death in Riften. And then you want to hunt round for her uh, body. And there it is. So what you do now is steal the lexicon from the coffin and that should start the quest. There you go, start Unfathomable Depths. does make you wonder how many other little side quests uh, you miss by uh, ignoring uh, bits of dialogue in the game, isn't it? But anyway, so head on outside and we'll get going. Make sure the quest is active. Unfathomable Depths, there you go. Let's crack on. Okay, so looking at the map, as you can see, it's uh, southwest of Riften. It's not a massive journey, and not too, too many enemies on the way. So even if you haven't been to any other places um, around this area, this is very easy to get to. Just another couple of points to make as well. Uh, you have to be level 14 to start this quest. And if you come to the location before you start the quest, the cave will be sealed. You won't be able to go in. And I found that because I came here to uh, so I could fast travel during this video and I couldn't find a way to get in. Again, I had to do a load of research and uh, that's the reason why. Anyway, so in we go. This is a really interesting little quest actually. Really, really good. As usual in Dwemer Ruins, there's lots of interesting bits and bobs to uh, pick up. Always pick up the glowing mushrooms. Even though they're a pain, the hitbox is so small. So you're going to come across four ghosts down here. So we just listen to the dialogue. You can't interact with them. We get in, we steal the lexicon, we leave. Don't get jumpy. If you two cannot handle this, we can find others to hire. Enough. Their services will be more than adequate. Let us continue. So effectively these are going to be your guides all the way down. Okay.
game with terrible clipping problems. So I bought the uh, Fane's Edge mod, mod off um, the Creation Club and uh, it's actually fantastic outside but in case, well thank you, got my uh, yeah, see, it just clips. Clips terribly. I bought it off the Creation Club and uh, it's a fantastic bow. It really is great and, and I absolutely love it and I've upgraded it to like a hell of a level. But in barrows, caves and ruins, it's a bloody nightmare. And, oh, FYI, I'm narrating this after the fact. Um, pick up all the Dwarven Oil. Okay, I don't know if you see my spider scrolls recipes, but there's something called the oil spider there, and um, <laughs> it's it's mental. So uh, yeah, pick pick them up uh, and ignore the fact that I'm not because I did this pre spider scrolls, so to speak. So anyway, I'm reverting to the bound bow, my good old trusted bound bow, and this is an awesome weapon. You know, and if any of you guys haven't got it, um, I strongly suggest you do. But to make it really work, I guess you've got to put a lot of perks into Conjuration as well. So, it's up to you. Now, just over here, there's a skull. And uh, I'll show you that later on, or towards the end. That's where we'll come out at the end. And these guys are basically pop up every now and again to show you you're taking the uh, right way. And hopefully now we've got the right bow fitted, uh, we're not going to have any issues. And there's the first little metal lovely we've got to deal with. I do like to wear my ruins. Job done. Now, I'm really going to fairly direct it. Yeah, let's say grab all the dwarven oil and all the dwarven bolts as well. You'll be using them at some stage in the future. Um, yeah, it's ever so easy to miss chests uh, in here. Uh, I'm going to fairly direct route. I'm not rushing this, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my archery's gone to par, um, so I may miss uh, some things. So, like I say, take it easy, and you'll pick up uh, maybe some stuff I've missed. Now, again, harping back to the spider scrolls, um, any petty gems or any soul gems empty, um, grab them as well. thing about the uh, bound bow we, I mean I love the bound bow I think it's a, a fantastic weapon um, but you do need the quiet casting perk don't know how I missed that This is a fairly linear uh, ruin. You've got fairly much no chance of getting lost. I 
Okay. Good night. Should be two more, I think. I'm sure there's another one. Yeah, and the uh, Dwarven Lord weighs virtually nothing, so uh, I think 0 0.3 or something. Yeah, 0 0.3. Oh, and I've been uh, reading a lot on... Um, the forums of face where people don't have a place to store stuff, they haven't bothered with a house or anything. Um, join the College of Winterhold. Oh yes, yeah, there's a trap there by the way. <laughs> um, and you'll get a, uh, a room. You don't have to continue with the storyline until you want to. Um, but you get a room to stay. Now this is one of the few places where you get a, a full set of Dwarven armour. So uh, if you're into that kind of thing, I always go light armour. There is a couple of chests up here. Our usual is it's, it's all leveled loot. No, I can do much better. Dynamo core, yep, they're heavy, but I always grab them. Okay. Onwards. Yeah, like I say, yeah, get, get, just go and join the, the college. You get um, uh, a room uh, there, and that's really ah. There's the other one. Damn, missed. Where are you, little lovely? Come here. Good night. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah, I keep on getting sidetracked. Uh, the college, um, joining the college. Uh, you get a room and you get lots of storage. Uh, I think you get one, two, three cupboards, uh, two side cupboards, chests, barrels, the, the whole lot. Because um, I always recommend that you collect everything uh, when you're starting. Why are all these metal fiends ignoring us? A bunch of Zell is waiting. Waiting for what? No one seems to know. Perhaps the return of the Dwemer. Perhaps the end of the world. Best get rid of the ones we see, just in case. Ah, oh, so they disappeared. So obviously we're seeing them back in the time, and these are ones they left. Which is odd they didn't actually loot them. But so uh, hey. Leaves them for us. Lovely. Dwarven Bolt, Dwarven Oil, Soul Gem, Num Num. And the chest. Yeah, they're rubbish thieves, so if they haven't bothered uh, losing as they've gone along. I do like the lighting in these rooms as well. Very good. They have done a good job. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't realise I had that um, equipped. I tried to dual cast my bound bow. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, that was a bit of a boo-boo. Uh, sorry, Stormy, you're gonna go. <laughs> It's a very subtle hint that there may be something inside there. I don't really need these, but um, hey, I've just made them. And if any of you are having trouble uh, lock picking, by the way, I've actually done a complete guide to lock picking. Rubbish, to be fair, wasn't it? I don't think I missed anything. Okay, so we'll head back up here. There's a uh, room to loot just up here. Just finding my brains up here. Sorry, a chest, sorry, not a room. Bob's your uncle. Click. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, no, I've already got that enchantment. I've uh, just got long hammer as well, so uh, I'm a bit excited about getting the two-handed enchantment. <laughs> She's a happy girl, is Neve. <laughs> And they should appear now. There you go. This place is huge. It is large indeed. I did not anticipate a bunch of so size or the time needed to uncover the entrance. A few hours sleep and we should be ready to continue through. Maybe we should turn back. I don't want to sleep here. Drennan, you do understand that the lexicon at the bottom of this place holds the accumulated memories of centuries of Dwemer. Not to mention our pay. So? So we're not turning back, you fool. Besides, I think Drennan's a smart one, to be fair. Metal man. Are you Drennan? I would be Drennan, if I was you. Okay. So obviously this is uh, their camp. Strangely left their tents and... Uh, Sleeping uh, rolls uh, here. Okay. Let's go and loot this room. What's that crap? That will kill you. I'm so used to, uh, I've got the uh, the perk which uh, where I don't self trap, so I'm so used to doing it, I completely forget that a lot of these are all activated by the door. So be really careful because that will kill you. 
They're vicious. But there's some uh, decent little loot in here. Goal six. But more importantly, a skill book for restoration, which um, I think I need. Okay. I stand corrected, there isn't decent loot in here, but the skill book's worth coming in for, if you want it. Yeah, those, that particular trap is, is vicious. I can hear a spider. Good night. See something very dark here. Yeah, and all these shelves you're going to find stuff, so uh, make sure you grab it. Some bolts, nom nom. This is quite a long uh, uh, ruin, by the way. Okay, let's go. Oh, damn missed. That's the one problem with the bound bow. There you go. Lovely. To be fair, there actually hasn't been that many enemies down here. For such a big um, ruin. Okay, nom nom. We've got a nice little room here. Job done. Okay, just one chest. Hmm. Uh, no. Hundred and ninety-six, why not? That's not bad. Lovely. When you start getting in potions of ultimate healing, you know things could be getting tricky later on. Dwarven bolts, nom nom. I've got a crap ton of soul gems now. 
Ik hoef nog een om. Okay, so obviously they've been having problems with the uh, with the guardians down here. Okay, in this location, I just recommend you get yourself a nice little vantage point where you can just take them all out. There's quite a few of them here. Good night, there's one down. That's got them a bit excited. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's always worthwhile popping around the corner as well, see if there's anything here. In this case, there wasn't, but uh, occasionally there are little hidden chests. Okay, let's pick up the goodies. Oh, or not, as the case may be. Oh, yeah, nom nom. No, nom nom. Come so jam to no nom nom. Tom and bolts, lovely. So you're not getting the, the big loot down here, but you're getting a lot of stuff that's handy. Oh, yeah, lovely. We'll get to Centurions later. Flawless Ruby, that's good. chest over here. I think I sussed out what's happening with these uh, ghosts appearing and uh, the lexicon stores memories and because it's been with um, uh, what's the name uh, from Deepest Fathoms for so long it's probably stored some of her memories and that's and now we've got it so that's why we're seeing these ghosts appear we're we're seeing what she remembers. Could be wrong but uh, I'm guessing uh, that's that's what has happened here. Okay, these ones you get the good loose of all. Daedric arrows, nom nom. That's handy. Okay, back up the stairs.
Ah, oh, poor Drennan's dead. Let's rob him. Well, he's not going to use it, is he? So, uh, he should have run before. Hmm. No, I don't need him. Well, he didn't make it very far, did he? <laughs> poor, poor bloke. My pay will be nothing if we die in here. Calm yourself, Freya. We are closing in on the lexicon. I can feel it calling. We'll continue without Drennan. Well, that's interesting. The Argonians are quite sensitive to the lexicon, uh, where the human isn't. So maybe it's something to do with their race. Is very good. The only problem is you can get a situation where it it disappears on you in the middle of a fight, but uh, it's effective. And I'm not getting the massive clipping problems um, I did with uh, my other bow. Yeah, check on all these um, shelves because quite often you'll find a little chest sitting there. And with all the colours and lighting in in these. Um, Ruins. That's so easy to miss. Uh, good stuff. Obviously, the closer he's getting, the more he feels it. Wait. Obviously, Brea senses something. OK, now, this is an evil trap. Like I said, I don't set pressure plates off. Uh, but if you do... Um, here you go. So I can get it to work. There you go. Uh, these will slaughter you. So, the way you get around them is just literally, you can jump over like that. Or you can wait till it goes past and then run round. And uh, watches the roots, uh, obviously didn't make it. For some reason I had it in my head he's going to do some skullduggery on the other two, so, uh, but clearly not, poor Sap didn't make it. Anyway, if you've got a follower, get him to wait at the top, get down here, hit that handle and that'll turn it off so your follower can uh, come behind you. I think they're probably the worst traps in the game, actually. Okay. 
This is where we have a dust up with a couple of centurions. Sneak attack on him. <laughs> and my archery is pretty good. I've got some damn decent enchantments on my gear, so uh, he didn't stand a chance. Have a little wander around, see if anything's here. Poor Brea, she didn't make it out. Died with nine gold on her. And David Coe's very good. And this little beauty. Ruby, David Coe, lovely. Okay, and this is it. So all you do now is activate the lexicon. So let's take a quick look at this. Now, the ancient knowledge, as I said earlier on in the uh, video, uh, gives you a 25% bonus, ar uh, bonus sorry, when you're wearing Dwarven armour, uh, which not all of us will do, um, but your smithing increases 15% faster. It's, uh, almost, it's also meant to remove the cap on how far you can upgrade your weapons, and I'll test that out uh, later on. Uh, your armour will always be fixed at 80% damage reduction. Um, so I really would strongly recommend you come here as soon as possible with the, uh, the Warrior Stone, and um, ancient knowledge that will really kick your smithing on uh, by leaps and bounds so really recommend it so what we've got to do is uh, loot this chest which is uh, level random level stuff a few enchanted um, items which I think I have all these yeah I have all these enchantments so you may get something better. Well, this country could be good for you, but um, it, not for me. Um, just go up here, pull the lever. Mm. Yeah, nothing. There's never anything in here. In these lifts. There's a, a few more enemies around. Good night. Good night. That's the way out there. Yeah, remember I mentioned the skull right at the beginning? Um, oh, salt pile. Yep, yeah, we collect those now. And this is the skeleton where the head come from. Don't know what happens to this guy. There's uh, nothing here to tell us uh, why there's a, a dead person without a head up here. I guess one of the centurions got a hold of him. Not centurions, uh, the guardians. And for flour, oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything. Okay, one last thing to show you. It's a beautiful view up here. And there's Shadowmere down there, waiting like a good little horse. Beautiful view.
And it's a chest here. Job done. Lockpick. Ah, pretty, pretty crap. So anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, we've got loads of uh, little bits and bobs, um, and actually a lot of it's very handy. Um, and we've got the ancient knowledge, which is going to help improve our character in leaps and bounds. And I'll be doing a little test run on the, um, on whether you, it takes uh, the cap off um, upgrading your weapons. I'll do that in another video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. It's been a long one, um, but it's certainly worth doing. And I certainly recommend that you do it at an earlier um, build. So, but you can only start this at 14. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun, later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.